welcome and thank you for joining us we are looking at a question that was done in KCSC 19 that is 2012 paper 2 number 17 a manor was paid an initial salary of 180,000 per annum with a fixed annual increment then Bundu was paid an initial salary of 150,000 per annum with a 10% increment compounded annually given that a Maya want to believe this is a manor's annual salary in the 11th year was 288,000 determine Roman 1 is annual increment so the first part of the question we have been told that the initial amount paid to a manor is 180,000 and the amount paid for the 11th year the sum for the 11th year is 288,000 this is in case uh, uh, this is actually the end term in this particular question and the formula of getting the end term in an AP is going to be equal to A plus N minus 1 multiplied by D and in this case the first term has been given as 180,000 plus N will be 11 minus 1 multiplied by D and this one will give us the nth term which is the sum of the money in the 11th term in the 11th year which is 288,000 this is the salary for for the 11th year and in this case we are going to have 180,000 plus 11 minus 1 is 10 times d you get 10 d and this one is going to be equal to 288,000 from here we can move 180 to the other side we remain with 10 d being equal to 288,000 minus 180,000 meaning if we go down we shall be having 10 d being equal to 288,000 minus 180 you get 108,000 meaning if you divide by 10 on both sides our d is going to be 10,800 and that represents the annual increment for a manner. then we move to roman 2 of the same same question roman 2 says the total amount of money amaya earned during the le during the 11 years we are now going to use the sum in an ap and sum is given by n over 2 multiplied by twice a plus n minus 1 you multiply by d in this regard we already know that n is 11 so we are going to have 11 over 2 multiplied by twice times a a is 180,000 plus n which is 11 minus 1 we multiply by the common difference which is 10,800 from here now we know that uh, 11 divided by 2 you get 5.5 multiplied by 2 times 180 will give us 360,000 plus we have 11 minus 1 is 10 10 times 10,800 this will give us 108,000 from there now we are going to have 5.5 multiplied by the sum of the two figures in the brackets that is 360,000 plus 108,000 giving us 468,000 and this figure multiplied will give us a total of 2 million 574 thousand shillings once we are through with that we can now proceed and tackle part b of the question 
Part B of the question says, determine Bundy's monthly earnings correct to the nearest shillings during the 11th year. So in this case, we know that uh, the amount for Bundy is compounded annually and therefore to get the amount, we use compound interest formula where amount is equal to principal into 1 plus R divided by 100, you raise it to the power of N. Once we are through with that, we can now substitute. We are going to have the principal, which is the initial amount for Bundy. We were told that the initial amount was actually 150,000. In this regard, amount is going to be equal to the principal of 150,000, which is our initial amount, into 1 plus. Remember, we are going to have 10% increment compounded annually. And in this case, we are going to raise it to 10 because we are going to look for the sum of money for the 11th year. First, we have to get the sum of Bundy for the first 10 years and this one is going to give us we are talking about 10 because we already have 150 for the first year then the remaining years will be 110 in this case we are going to have 150,000 multiplied by 1 plus 10 divided by 100 is 1.1 raised to the power of 10 and this one is going to give us a total of 389,061 as the total amount of money earned by Bundy. In this case 150 is for the initial year and of course this amount is going to be compounded for the next 10 years at the rate of 10% annually. So from here to get the monthly earnings, monthly earnings will be equivalent to the total earned, which is 389,061. You divide by 12, and this one is going to give us approximately 32,000. 422 shillings as the answer to this particular question. We can now move down to part C of the question. And part C is talking about the difference between Bundy's and Amaya's average monthly earnings. So for us to square for us to square part B, that is part C, we are going to have, we are going to start with uh, Amaya's earnings. So we have uh, Amana's average earnings, which are going to be equal to their total amount of money for the 11 years which was found to be 2574000 2574000 25, 2574000 25, you divide by 132 remember one month one year has 12 months we multiply by 11 years which is going to give us a total of 132. And this one is going to give us an amount equivalent to an amount equivalent to 19,500. Once we have that, we can also get Bundy's average 
to get bundi's average we are going to take the total amount of money earned by bundi which is a uh, which is a uh, do we get the sum for bundi We do not get the sum for Bundi and therefore we can get the sum first. And for us to get the sum for Bundi, we are going to have the information as follows. The initial amount earned is 150,000. We also have the common ratio as 1.1 because it's an increment of 10% every year compounded annually for a total of 11 years and in this case now sum of terms if the common ratio is greater than 1 is given by a into r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 and this one is going to give us 150,000 multiplied by add which is 1.1 .1 raised to 11 minus 1 divided by 1.1 .1 minus 1 and this one is going to give us this one is going to give us 150,000 multiplied by the entire bracket will give us 18.53 that is 18.53 one two which is going to give us a total of Kenya shillings two million seven hundred and seventy nine thousand six hundred and eighty from there now we can get the average that is Bundi's average is going to be equal to 2779680. You You divide by a total of 132 months, and this one is going to give us approximately 21,059 shillings, and therefore the difference. The difference is going to be equal to 21,059 shillings minus 19,500. And this one is going to give us a total of 1,559 shillings. And that is the answer to this particular question. Thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two. You click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this, you will automatically be given a notification. Thank you and welcome.